A very good morning. You're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Inaseje and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We start with Buyukwe district where the government will tarmac the Lugazi Chindi Road in 2020. Work State Minister General Katumba Amala has said he was speaking during the belated independence Day celebrations in Buyukwe district this week. The district also marked eight years since its creation in 2000. 2009. Buyukwe was carved out of Mukono district. During the celebrations, a new office block was also opened. Wamala told residents that the government will work on the road which connects Lugazi town to Chiende learning site during the 2019-2020 financial year. And in Chotera, Pastor Joseph Balikudembe, who is also the councillor for Chotera Town Council, has been suspended from the district council over bad behaviour. This was during one of the sittings on Tuesday. Balikudembe, also a senior pastor for Christian Church Chotera, lost his temper and shouted at the speaker, Peter Asimwe Sasira, before marching out of the meeting hall in fury. Trouble started after Sasira declined to select him to speak about the proposal was the version of 150 million shillings from being used in building pit latrines in six primary schools to purchasing a vehicle for the district chairperson, Patrick Chintu Chisekulu. The matter had come up for discussion after councillors asked Chisekulu to explain why his executive went ahead with the issue without their consent. And in Palisa district, over 2,000 gardens of potatoes in sub-counties of Palisa, Kamenke, Aguke, Apongpong, Chelekura, Kamuge, Aksim, and Palisa Town Council in Palisa district have been destroyed by the sweet potato butterfly lava. Felix Asuptan, the ward councillor of Kawucho in Palisa Town Council, said the lava eats the best yielding variety, whose leaves are purplish and mature faster. He said the community hoped the potatoes would provide food security after the prolonged food shortage. And finally, in Serere District, police in Pingere Police Station is holding four women for illegal fishing. The suspects include Sarah Amuge, Lucy Aliawo, Mary Anyayit, and Rosie Aluka. They were arrested on Wednesday during an operation to crack down on illegal fishing on the shores of Lake Choga. According to Christine Tuke, the interim chairperson, Pingere Beach Management Unit, the suspects were needed while transporting smoked immature fish to unknown destination. Vision Group is spearheading a campaign against HIV AIDS. New Vision TV will be highlighting stories on such. We are winning the battle together. However, for more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Ruth Nasege.